Hello Obophiles! This is the next video in the series for Obo 101, the lessons for beginners on the oboe or anyone who is interested in pedagogy for the oboe. Today we're learning two new notes which will open up a myriad of tunes for you to play. Let's get started. Hello! So far in the series we've learned four notes We'll review them in kind of scalar patterns. I'll put the fingerings up next to me here or here and just repeat after me. Remember to focus on your breathing and your posture. If you need to review those, you can check out the previous lessons by clicking in the corner or in the description below. All right, we'll go about here. Here we go. Alright, so hopefully that was easy. The last few are a little trickier, so kind of pay attention to the skips on those. Alright, so now the new note that I'm going to teach you is C, and that's fingered one on top, one on bottom. Some people might refer to it as one and four. I'm going to refer to it as one and one. And the first finger goes on the B key, the second, the first finger of the right hand goes on the F sharp key, and remember that even when we're not pressing the other keys, we still have our fingers on the metal and gently curved. And be sensitive to the holes on top of each key. Alright, so that sounds like this. So why don't you pause the video and give that new note a try, and then maybe put it into some patterns to copy between you and a friend, or you and a teacher, or anyone else. The next note that we're going to learn is D, and that's fingered half hole, two, three, one, two, three on the bottom. Now, I just said half hole, and what does that mean? Notice the first key on the oboe, the B key that we talked about so much, has a teardrop kind of extension on the bottom of it. And the reason for that is so that you can put your finger on that extension, so you press the key down, but you're not covering up the hole, the vent there. Now, when you're going from not half hole to yes half hole open, you want to make sure that you're rolling, for efficiency, but it's not a very dramatic roll. In fact, it's kind of like a little bit of a slide. Now, I know a lot of people have a lot of controversy between rolling and sliding, and I feel the most efficient way is kind of both. You know, you kind of do a little bit of a roll, but also kind of slide down there. Now, you don't want to be completely sliding without any roll, and you don't want to be rolling without any slide. Just find a way to barely open that vent, which is all you need to get that note to come out. So again, that's half hole, two, three, one, two, three on the bottom. Everything's covered. Remembering to keep your fingers curved and always bring the oboe to your face. And you can try that note out. Let's do some patterns with our two new notes. Okay, hopefully that was easy for you. If it's not, go back and try those again, or come up with some new ones of your own. Now, the note D has a lower octave brother, and we get that guy by covering the half hole. So kind of experiment what happens when you cover the half hole and when you don't cover the half hole. You get the octave. So the lower octave is covering the half hole, and the higher octave is exposing the half hole. So try that at home. Now that you know two more notes, the next videos in the series will go into more complicated and more fun tunes. I'm going to play the next one for you, and if you're an overachiever, you can try to figure it out on your own.
that's it for this lesson. Good luck at home, and when in doubt, always play beautifully. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share it with any of your oboe friends.